Hey, what is up everyone? Killing here, bringing you another video. And this one, uh, upon request of people in the stream, with the recent patch they've added something called Avatar Weapons. These are something basically to help lower levels um, have some really good gear, having really good weapons as they level up, as well as um, a couple of n new items such as Refined Godly Outcast and Normal Godly Outcast. This is to really reduce the cost of low level enchanting. So outcasts for enchanting avatar weapons from tier 11 or below. So it basically just helps you get um, these thing, these new weapons to plus nine uh, at a really cheap price. So, pu so low levels can have their own glowing weapons and whatnot as well. All right, so you're wondering, what are these avatar weapons? Essentially throughout, um, Throughout the entire levels, from level like 16 all the way up to all the way up to max level, from what I understand, um, there are these shards that drop. I'm gonna see if this guy, once he kills this basilisk, actually um, will drop one or not. But basically, these shards drop from all minions across your level range. So as you can see here, highlighting this glass axe, I have not created this one mine yet. Um, I just farmed these yesterday on my stream at twitch.tv slash Kilrian. But anyway, areas, areas you can find relic pieces. Oblivion Woods, Valley of Titans, uh, Tuwangi Mine, Celestial Hills, Bastion of Log, Cliffs of Insanity, Vale of Fang, and Paranon Ravine. So that takes you up to around level 27, 27, 28, or somewhere along those lines. And this weapon um, is pretty good. You know, it's a lot better than the Federation axe that or Federation item that you're going to be getting. So overall, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good increase. But anyway, to craft these, to craft these, as you can see in my inventory, whoops, as you can see in my inventory, I have a set, um, like a new UI thing there av with the avatar weapon. The way you actually craft these is by gathering 10 relic pieces, and as I listed before, you can that's where you find these relic pieces, and they drop off normal mobs or a high chance off of BAMs. Um, don't be afraid that you'll miss a relic item or a relic piece dropping, because these things, like, are ridiculous. Like, they glow... It's like God sent down an angel or something, and you're going to have a huge beam of light spiking out of just this item on the ground. So anyway, you have to collect 10 of them, and then you can acquire the weapon. You can just acquire it automatically. And one really key feature with the with these um, avatar weapons is an axe imbued with the goddess Isarin's power inflicts critical damage on monsters of similar, le uh, similar level to the weapon requirement. What that means is that you have increased crit chance on mobs around the level of the weapon. And from what I've heard, like people in people at like level 20 will get like 80% crit chance with these appropriate weapons um, if you if you have it. So another thing to know from what I've heard from people on my stream is that they it's kind of RNG if you get the crystal drops. And you want to try to get them as soon as possible. So what I would recommend doing is once you reach an appropriate level or just before you're at the next uh, stage of an avatar weapon, which I'm not exactly sure what the stages are, um, you probably want to go farm some BAMs and try to get the upgraded version. Um, so once you're level like 17 or 18, I believe this is the first weapon, you want to come here and kill some basilisks. Basilisk would be your best bet in Oblivion Woods in the Bestial Vale. Easiest way to get here would be to go to a specialty merchant in a town such as Crescentia and um, go to the specialty store and buy a Bastion of Lock. Basilisk with the recent nerf are really easy and also this is probably the best power leveling spot for those of you from level 18 or so. Alright, so I'm this is my first time actually crafting one, so we're just going to craft it. Create glass axe. It will auto-equip if you are high enough level. Boom. Okay, kill monsters, find rug pieces you need. So this does actually increase up. So it automatically equips the weapon as well. Um, the stats on this, wow. Okay, well I I essentially got perfectly rolls, perfect rolls on that. Damage on attack, crit damage, and attack speed on that. And um, it also with the with the recent patch, they also did a thing where it's like, oh, you can. Add recommended. What? 
Okay, that's weird. And also, when at wall farming for these shards, you'll also get a certain weapon shards, which can also be used to enchant this up. Uh, it seems like it doesn't let you use... Or I don't have any other tier 4s. I don't have any other tier 4 weapons. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure if you can use just normal T4s or not. But overall, I think if you get these blue weapon, these blue weapon shards, you're almost, or the ice screen weapon shards, you're almost going to be guaranteed a plus up. Um, while farming these, while farming all of these uh, shards and whatnot to actually craft the glass, the glass axe to begin with, I easily got enough outcast, it looks like, to craft it all the way up. Um, I don't actually have enough weapon shards, no. Alright, but I just wanted to tell everyone and show everyone that this new feature that was just recently added um, into the game. You definitely want to check it out. It's definitely a very positive thing to add to the game. Um, basically, it's just to help low levels. Actually, let's check, let's check what my crit chance is like. Let's check what my crit chance is like. So this is level 20 Basilisk while I'm on my level uh, 24. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of crits. Like, this is a pretty drastic crit chance improvement. And as you can see... <laughs> oh my goodness. Crit on crit on crit on crit. I just had five crits in a row. So this just kind of shows you how big of an increase the crit chance is. So... Once again, while you're leveling, make sure that you actually go about and get these because that is straight up overpowered for leveling. Hopefully you found the video informational, guys. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and see, um, comment basically how, how are these avatar weapons affecting your leveling if you're going to make some new alts because of this. And um, let's see, yeah, what else? Things and stuff. I actively stream on twitch.tv slash Killian, so make sure to check me out there. You can follow me on Twitter at Killian updates anytime I upload video and or start streaming and yeah thanks for watching the video guys catch y'all next time